you both just led a workshop on native advertising and whether it can scale or not. How did that go? It, it was a raging debate. Um, it, it, I think the, the sort of central point of the debate was, is the question of native and scale a myth of the banner industrial complex? So we spent a whole lot of time on that, which was fascinating. Yeah, I think there were a, a number of points of view, but the internet is unique in that it creates new life forms almost every day. And uh, the banner ecosystem has been a standardized uh, approach to, the, uh, to, to advertising. Uh, and so the debate was really, well wait a minute, if native is a new way of doing things, maybe we need to rethink whether or not we even should ask the question of scale in the first place. The theme of the conference overall is big data and big ideas. Are they friends, are they enemies, are they frenemies? As publishers, what is your take on that? So, great question, and we at Forbes have been talking in terms of what we call the hard and soft stuff of business, and we have a great columnist named Rich Carlgaard who wrote a piece on this a few months back, and the notion was that for any company to genuinely be successful, that company has to master the hard stuff, which is data, analytics, everything around that, and the soft stuff, which is narrative and storytelling and actually connecting with human beings. And that no company has success if they don't really do both. And he, or the guy who wrote the column always says, you know, look at the most valuable company on earth, Apple, it's probably the one company that we would all say has really mastered both the hard and the soft stuff. And I think those are, I think it's a great theme for this conference and I think that's what publishers need to be doing. I hate to be in violent agreement, but um, we actually acquired a big data company uh, in 2011 and, and late in the year and um, are now in both solidly in the programmatic business as well as in the creative business, uh, the native storytelling business, which is really where we came from was the native side. Um, bridging the two is sort of the now the goal of our company. Um, and uh, there's much, much work to be done, but that's why we're all in this business, because it's so interesting and exciting to, to work on. If you were to forecast out 10 years into the future and tell us how, ha how will data have changed this industry overall, what would you say? I, to me, you know, the end game, at least for the moment that we're in right now, is about data helping us understand sentiment in real time and build product accordingly. And I think, you know, 10 years from now, it'll be something different that we don't know about yet, but it's going to stem from that, and that's the big challenge right now. I think uh, probably 10 years from now, we'll see a set of consumer behaviors that's a nascent at the moment, which is around the idea that I own my own data, and it doesn't mean necessarily that I actually own it, but I have a sense of an ownership around the information I, as a consumer, uh, allow to be uh, declared um, in a marketplace, in any kind of marketplace, including an advertising marketplace. Uh, that is not a sentiment that exists right now with consumers. We as consumers are waking up to that. As that changes, and I think there will be a, a flip, uh, there are huge opportunities and huge risks for our industry. Um, and so that's to me what I, I see as a thing all of us need to plan for, which is when do consumers start taking control of their own data uh, and how do we uh, help them do that and leverage uh, both marketing and uh, content creation based on that.